Okay, here we go. It's time for... I was going to say Friday. It's not Friday. It feels like a Friday. Here we go for the last mystery guest of the week. If you've never heard this part of the show before, I have no details whatsoever. I promise you, I know absolutely nothing about the mystery guest. I may have interviewed them before. This could be our first encounter with a bit of reasoning, incisive questioning. I'll try and find out who they are and what they do. Good morning, mystery guest. Uh, good morning, Alan. How are you this morning? I'm good. Yourself? Yeah, well, thank you. Well, straight away, I think you work with animals. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, you've got a kind of rustic <laughs> no, farming not. sound to your voice. Uh, probably the uh, time of the uh, time of the day, to be honest. Is it a bit early for you? No, 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 just a bit croaky in the morning, but okay. uh, no, definitely not animals. All right, like it. Straight talker. Do you do anything with motorbikes? Uh, most definitely not. Pretty cold, to be honest, as you are at the moment. All right, okay, all right. Just correcting me already. I've only had a couple of questions. Okay, yeah. would I would I come to you where you live for whatever it is you do? No, definitely would, not. Would you come to me personally? Um, I have done, but you would need a pretty big garden. Okay, pretty big garden because that automatically indicates that you do something which requires movement and exercise. Uh, yes. Okay. I'd would you do, normally yeah. work with a team of people? Uh, I can refer people to different um, professions, depending on what uh, what's going on with them. I suppose what I was implying there was: Would you, if I was a football team, would you come to me? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. So, so you, do you work with individuals? Uh, mostly, yes. Okay, I've got, I've got this. I've got this. You're an okay. expert in athletics coaching. You teach shot put, hammer throwing, <laughs> and javelin. Uh, no, not, not quite. No. Okay, am I along the right lines? Is it in uh, the athletics you're in the, arena? You're in the um, you're in the ballpark. You're not you're not in the stadium yet, but you're uh, you're on the close. Okay. Do you work with people who would be in the stadium one day? All oh, right. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, be more would be on a uh, if I gave you a clue would be more on a course. On a course, and is it on foot they are working? Uh, yeah, they do what uh, what they do is is on foot. Yeah. Okay, so you train people to be able to run marathons. They finish in a stadium, but they don't start there. Uh, no, 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 no. Stadium's nothing to do with it. No. Okay. Uh, there, if I gave you a big clue, would be there's a bat and ball involved. Oh, okay, blast. Okay, Stay, it's not an Olymp. Is it an Olympic sport? Uh, uh, a big clue would be it's just become an Olympic sport just recently. It's just become. And an the Olympic person sport. that won the gold medal uh, is from uh, the county that the uh, we're based in. I want to say squash. Oh, come on. That was a big clue. Hampshire. I know, I know, I know. You're putting, you're putting the thumb screws on now. I should know this. We're getting messages saying and, uh, that. And, uh, he's, uh, his surname is uh, the main flower that you would send on Valentine's Day. Is, is what, sorry? Is the main flower that you would send on Valentine's Day, his surname. It's not, is it, it's not golf, is it? It is, yeah. No, I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was in the Olympics. Okay, it was golf, uh, which Rose is obviously the huge clue. Give me your name, who you are, what you do. Uh, my name is Mark uh, Amy. I am a PGA professional golf coach. Um, I've got an indoor studio in Romsey Base Point, so Abbey Park Industrial State. I coach at Salisbury and South Wilts Golf Club and Leckwood Golf Club. Incredible. Um, yes, of course, golf. I, I didn't know it was in the Olympics. Uh, yeah, yeah, it just got recently in there. I think it's the last Olympics in Rio, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, so yeah, Justin okay. Rose won. Tell me about your. In, you've got. Did you say you have an indoor facility? I do. Yes. Okay. And yeah. Is that using video tech and laser tech, so I can keep improving my swing, and you can video me and go, look, you're going wrong here. You're hooking to the left. Uh, correct. Yeah. So I've got a, a Foresight GT Quad launch monitor. So it's a, a, a camera-based launch monitor, which gives you the feedback on. All, all the ball and club data, like ball speed, club head speed, where you strike the ball on the face, if it's open or closed, and then I combine that with a two-way camera system, which then gives you the visual uh, if you're hitting down the line and face on. So then you've got the physical move and what numbers you're producing. And then if you change the physical move, then the numbers change, and then 
then you can see that, oh, that improvement's helping and then it really focuses you on, on learning and, and improving. I think that I've seen some of this on YouTube. I think it's remarkable. Let me ask you this, Mark, before you go. When You know when you go to a driving range and everyone's lined up in the little booth? Yes. Is it impossible for you to walk down there without spotting people's mistakes? Uh, well, yeah, I'd have to have my eyes shut. I mean, yeah, so, yeah. Really? <laughs> you just look at them and you think, difficult. that's going to hook to the left. That's going to skim across the grass. You're swinging back far too far. You know, every single person you see, you evaluate their swing. Uh, I would, yeah, I would be. It'd be difficult not to. Um, but also, then you see quite a few interesting people giving advice to to other people, which is always quite uh, quite interesting to see, considering they can't hit it themselves. So, what an interesting job! You've been a great mystery guest, Mark, Amy, golf coach, based in Romsey. Thank you for being such fun this morning. Have a good day, won't you? No problem, and you. Thanks, Adam.